deep inside a remote mountain in Nevada lies a forgotten tunnel. Buried beneath 1,000 feet of volcanic rock, sealed behind blast-proof steel doors, it cost American taxpayers $13 billion to build. And then, they walked away. This was supposed to be the safest place on Earth, designed to protect humanity from the most dangerous substance ever created, nuclear waste. But today it sits abandoned, locked, and empty. So, what really happened here and why did the U.S. bury its most ambitious nuclear project forever? Nuclear waste isn't new. Since the 1940s, when the U.S. built its first atomic bombs, the country has been generating radioactive byproducts. Over time, that waste began accumulating, first at military labs, then nuclear power plants. But no permanent plan was ever finalized. Every year, the United States produces more than 2,000 metric tons of radioactive waste. This isn't just trash. It's material so dangerous it remains lethal for 10,000 years. And yet, most of it sits in temporary storage. Over 90,000 tons of high-level nuclear waste are currently scattered across 80-plus locations in 35 U.S. states, some just miles from major cities, rivers, and coastlines. These sites were never meant to last. Many were improvised decades ago and now pose growing threats to both public safety and the environment. In Washington State, for example, the Hanford site, once a cornerstone of the Manhattan Project, now houses millions of gallons of toxic sludge. It's become the costliest environmental cleanup effort in U.S. history, draining billions of dollars with no end in sight. Meanwhile, the U.S. government has paid over $9 billion in penalties to energy companies simply because it never delivered on its promise of permanent storage. So, in the 1980s, engineers, scientists, and lawmakers came together to solve the crisis build the world's most secure nuclear waste repository deep inside a mountain. The plan? Bury the danger where it could never escape. The site they chose, Yucca Mountain, a place so isolated, so geologically stable, it promised safety for the next 10,000 years. But what began as a bold solution soon unraveled into one of the most controversial mega-projects in American history. Engineering the impossible to solve America's nuclear waste crisis, engineers needed a site unlike anything on Earth. A geological fortress that could outlast civilizations. They found it in Yucca Mountain, a desolate ridge of volcanic tuff 90 miles northwest of Las Vegas. The rock was dense, isolated, dry, stable. In theory, perfect for locking away danger for millennia. Construction began with a $13 million tunnel boring machine, stretching 120 meters long and weighing more than a space shuttle. This steel beast carved a U-shaped tunnel, 7.6 meters wide, boring nearly eight kilometers into the heart of the mountain. Every pass pushed deeper into the silence, wrapping radioactive threat in volcanic rock. And that was just the beginning. The full design called for 64 kilometers of tunnel, carefully gridded and reinforced to house more than 77,000 metric tons of high-level waste. Engineers didn't stop at concrete and steel. Each canister would sit inside multi-layered containment systems, corrosion-resistant alloys, ceramic linings, steel and concrete overpacks. Sensors embedded in the mountain would track radiation, moisture, temperature for 10,000 years. These systems weren't just designed for short-term data. They would relay telemetry data for centuries, measuring radiation flux, seepage rates, and temperature shifts across hundreds of control points. Engineers even simulated worst-case scenarios, from earthquakes to acts of sabotage, to ensure the site could withstand both nature and human failure. Yucca Mountain wasn't just a tunnel, it was a time capsule, designed to hold danger long after the U.S. no longer existed. But even the best engineered mega project can't survive the one force it can't predict politics. As engineers meticulously constructed Yucca Mountain, political storm clouds began to gather, threatening the future of this ambitious mega project. Residents of Nevada were furious. Why should their state become America's nuclear dumping ground? In 1987, Congress passed what critics dubbed the Screw Nevada Bill 
legally designating Yucca as the nation's only nuclear repository site, without their consent. Local resistance turned into national outrage. Leading the charge, Senator Harry Reid, Nevada's political heavyweight. By 2006, he was Senate Majority Leader, with the power to defund the entire project. He did exactly that. Yucca Mountain is dead. It'll never happen. Senator Reid didn't just oppose the project. He made its demise a political mission. Over the years, he worked to strip budgets, block environmental impact studies, and even challenge DOE decisions in court. Lawsuits flew, legal filings, FOIA requests, public hearings. Yucca Mountain became a political battlefield, not just an engineering site. His words made headlines, but they also sent shockwaves through the Department of Energy. Scientists raised new concerns, fault lines, water seepage, even dormant volcanic activity. Environmental groups and indigenous tribes demanded answers. Then came the credibility blow. Allegations surfaced that researchers had manipulated water safety data. Public trust collapsed. Even after independent labs like Sandia National Laboratories verified the site's safety protocols, the damage was done. In 2010, President Obama, under immense pressure, terminated funding. After decades of planning, thousands of workers, and $12 billion spent, Yucca Mountain was sealed, not by science, not by engineering failure, but by fear, politics, and perception. Yucca Mountain was sealed, but the waste wasn't. Today, over 90,000 tons of high-level nuclear waste still sits across 80-plus temporary storage sites scattered throughout 35 states. Many of these sites were never built for long-term containment. They're dangerously close to cities, coastlines, and fault lines, places where millions of people live, drink water, and raise families. These containers were meant to last years, not centuries, and every year they sit, the risk grows. Meanwhile, the U.S. government continues to pay billions in legal penalties to utility companies, over nine billion and counting, just for failing to deliver the permanent repository they promised. Add in maintenance, security, and oversight, and the cost of not storing nuclear waste properly is now hundreds of millions of dollars per year. America didn't solve its nuclear problem, it just hit pause and handed the danger to future generations. Other countries took different paths. Finland, for example, is finalizing Onkelo, the world's first deep geological repository. Meanwhile, France and Sweden have implemented coordinated national storage plans. But the U.S., despite having more nuclear waste than any other country, remains stalled. Experts now estimate that delays around permanent nuclear waste disposal could cost taxpayers $50 billion or more over the next two decades. What Yucca Mountain teaches us about megaprojects. Yucca Mountain wasn't a scientific failure. It was a storytelling failure. Engineers did their job. Scientists did their job. But politicians, agencies, and the public never agreed on the narrative. The story matters as much as the science. When trust collapses, so does progress. What began as a promise to safely contain humanity's most dangerous waste became a symbol of American dysfunction engineering brilliance crushed by political fear. So the question remains, if this much money, planning, and expertise still couldn't solve the nuclear waste problem, what will? But this is just one story. In the next episode, we'll uncover a $6 billion shopping mall that turned into a ghost town and a $106 billion bullet train project. That still doesn't go anywhere. These aren't just engineering fails. They're the mega projects your tax dollars paid for and then forgot. Subscribe to Mega Projects Uncovered so you don't miss what's next. Because the deeper you dig into these abandoned ideas, the more you realize the most expensive project are the ones that go nowhere. Thank you for spending your valuable time with us. Your attention means more than words can say. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching. It truly means everything.